Bonjour, uh, boys and girls. This is your old pal, Uncle L. Hi, I'm Dina too. Today we're going to do a cooking segment for Mother in the Lab. Okay, for you lady preppers out there, we're taking the handle from the Apocalypse, again, Apocalypse Chow Cookbook by these people down below. That's, you can get it on Amazon. It's a fairly recent book. And we're going to cover this term. Okay. It's a type of salad. Very popular in Provence. I know our friend, let's see if I have it here. West Wind Survival, not into tuna dishes, but Hong Kong covers everybody, so. Okay. This is for Mother in the Wild and all you lady preppers out there. You take one 15 ounce can of cut green bean drains. You take one 16 ounce dice or sliced potatoes, white potatoes drains. You take what, uh, well, and you take a small onion and you chop it up. And then in a small bowl, a big bowl for materials you just don't. <coughs> Green beans, um, uh, canned slice, uh, potatoes, yeah, let's see, and tuna. Okay, so you have your green beans, you have your white sliced or diced potatoes. You add one chopped small onions. You mix it all together. You might add a little bit of parsley. I like to add, um, what the hell? I can't remember, it's a green herb, but I like it. I put it in there and it's um, cyanthrop. Okay, now in a small bowl, you add half cup, or quarter cup, excuse me, quarter cup of olive oil, uh, one and a half tablespoons of white balsamic vinegar. I prefer the red, I don't care about white or red. A uh, teaspoon of Dijon mustard, one teaspoon of dried basil, and a fourth uh, let's see, teaspoon of dr a dried basil, a fourth of uh, teaspoon of salt, and to your taste, freshly ground pepper. Okay, that's the tuna one. Okay, you mix it up, you serve it, and it serves about four. Okay. <coughs> Toss gently to combine. Easy as pie, kids. I'm going to make sure I'm on. Okay, now there is a version, vegetarian version. It's for Hubble's cat. Uh, take one ounce of canned diced tomato, drained, chickpeas, drained and rinsed, one fourth ounce can of black olives, pitted and chopped, and then you use the same dressing as before, which is fourth cup of olive oil, one and a half tablespoons of white or red balsamic vinegar, a teaspoon, one teaspoon of Dijon mustard, teaspoon of dry basil, a quarter teaspoon of salt and freshly ground pepper. You might add a little garlic to it. You add the green beans, again, one ounce can, drained, of uh, 15 ounce of uh, cut green beans, or one 15, 16 ounce uh, can of diced white tomatoes, uh, potatoes, drained, diced or sliced, and you add it. That's the vegetarian version. <coughs> and the third version, if you don't have tuna, you could also do this salad with chicken. Again, one ounce, 15 ounce can of dried cut green beans drained, one 16 ounce can of diced or sliced white potatoes drained, and then, uh, let's see, you add the dressing, mix it all together, and you add the drained chopped white chicken breast to it. Very easy. Follow the dressings, like I said before, serves four. 
eat it with a nice crusty bread and a nice white soup. And it's a perfect lunch or a light dinner. That's it. And again, that's one of the tuna dishes or chicken dishes or vegetarian dish that you can make out of this. Very easy, kids. Now let's shout out to Small Town Southern Housewife, uh, Mother in the Wild, DYI Solar Homestead, uh, Reverend Christine, Hike and Deep, 3D Tripper, Corsair Trainers. See, I use food stocks that you put away. Easy as pie, serves for very filling. <coughs> Prep for it. And Bethany Myers. Harshman Hills, Hubble's Cat, and Just In Time Prepping. Uh, Will came early on tonight, so this is just a catch up. I had to go because I had to do things. And then Savage Bible, where we got you in our prayer group for your dad, uh, Cure Deer Survival, and the Full Spectrum Survival with Brad and Kelly. Please check out those channels. And don't forget our friend overseas. Jordan Jakenberg, Mad Dog Survival, and JJR Survival, and Prepper Dell over across the seas. I'll catch you later, folks. Yeah, that was a short one. Thank you, Dino. And I'll catch you later. Bonsoir.